Hi Church family, Pastor Dan here, and to visitors, welcome to our devotional channel here at Rockhampton Baptist. Often our expectations uh, don't meet uh, reality. You know, we live in this kind of instant culture uh, where we want things now. The moment we order something, we'd like it to be delivered at the fastest possible time, uh, even you know right now. Yeah, now I, I know we expect to wait for certain things, uh, but, but patience is one of those things that it's a hard attribute to learn and it's hard at sometimes, especially moments of even prayer. When we're praying over something, you know, it's often hard you know, to wait for the answer. So when it comes to prayer, we often, um, we often want these instant um, prayers answered. We want to bring it to God and we would love him to answer it straight away. But in reality, prayers aren't always answered that way. Now, sometimes uh, prayers are answered straight away. Sometimes we're told to wait uh, for the answer to prayer. And sometimes the answer to our prayer is actually no. I've experienced each of these moments in, in my life. You know, uh, when, I was, when I was in schools praying for uh, my first job, my apprenticeship as a mechanic and um, and I hadn't prayed for the whole time during the interview process and God convicted and said pray and so just before I went to bed uh, I prayed um, and, and it wasn't v like maybe a couple of minutes I put my head on my pillow um, I get called downstairs and there it is in an email that says I've got the job as a mechanic it was an instant prayer that I experienced yeah. but then looking at another job experience praying for, for this position here at Rockhampton Baptist now, from leaving my other job or deciding to leave uh, my other position in a church uh, to stepping into this position, praying into it and really working hard throughout the whole process. It was, it was over two years before God answered that prayer. And I still have some experiences with some friends uh, back at school you know, some 14 years ago, uh, been praying for them to come to know Jesus and God still has not answered those prayer and I haven't seen the fruit from that prayer yet. Daniel, when we look in the, in the Bible, experienced this similar sort of thing. So let me read uh, Daniel chapter 10 verses 1 to 14 to you. In the third year of the reign of King Cyrus of Persia, Daniel, also known as Belshazzar, had another vision. He understood that the vision concerned events had events certain to happen in the future, times of war and great hardship. When the vision came to me, I, Daniel, had been in mourning for three whole weeks. All that time I had eaten no rich food, no meat or wine crossed my lips, and I used no fragrant lotions until those three weeks had passed. On April 23, I was standing at the bank of the great Tigris River. I looked up and saw a man dressed in linen clothing and a belt of pure gold around his waist. His body looked like precious gem and his face flashed like lightning and his eyes flamed like torches. His arms and feet shone like polished bronze and his voice roared like a vast multitude of people. Only I, Daniel, saw this vision and the men who were with me saw nothing, but they were suddenly terrified and ran away to hide. So I was left there all alone and I see this amazing vision my strength left me, my face grew deathly pale, and I felt w very weak. Then I heard the man speak, and when I heard the sound of his voice, I fainted and I lay there with my face to the ground. Just then a hand touched me and lifted me, still trembling to my hands and knees, and the man said to me, Daniel, you are very precious to God, so listen carefully to what I have to say to you. Stand up for I have been sent to you. When he said this to me, I stood up, still trembling. Then he said, don't be afraid, Daniel. Since the first day you began to pray for understanding and to humble yourself before God, your request has been heard in heaven. I have come in answer to your prayer. But for 21 days, the, the spirit prince of the kingdom of Persia blocked my way. Then Michael, one of the archangels, came to help me, and I left him there with the spirit prince of the kingdom of Persia. 
now I'm here to explain what will happen to the people in the future, for this vision concerns a time yet to come. So you see in this, in this passage, you know, in the complexity of the understanding of the book, um, that Daniel has seen something that's going to happen in the future, and he's praying into it. You know, he doesn't want his nation and the nation he's part of um, to be caught up in times of war and times of great hardship. And so he's praying against it there. And it was at, after a period of those three weeks, 21 days, that this, that this, angel, uh, this angel comes to see him and says, I have heard your prayer. You know, for God describes you know, there's actually a spiritual battle that was going on. You know, he came and heard the same prayer on the very first day that Daniel prayed it in heaven. But there was a spiritual battle that went on when he was answering that, uh, to answer the prayer. You see that God generally answers prayer in, in three ways. Yes, no, or wait. For Daniel, it was wait until I remove the spiritual opposition so that in answer to your prayer, I can answer it with yes. But what we see from this and what we can take home is that God heard his prayer the moment it was prayed. Be encouraged that when you pray, you know, whether you have to wait for an answer you know, for two years you know, or for 14 years or 20 years or for 60 years, be encouraged that just like Daniel experienced, God hears our prayer. Sometimes it's not instant answers. You know, sometimes it is delayed. But God definitely hears our prayers as we pray especially when we pray with faith. Let me pray for you. Lord, we thank you for this reminder that you hear our prayer. This reminder that no matter what happens in the world where there's a battle that has to go in the spiritual realm or, or, or some sort of battle or fight that has to go here uh, in the physical, Lord, we know that you hear our prayers, that you are there, that your presence comes upon us. Lord, help us and encourage us over these next 21 days to um, be encouraged that you answer our prayer. So that as we pray, let us pray expectantly that you are hearing what we say. Amen. Keep walking with God. Keep talking to him. Let him talk back as you read the Bible. And when he does speak to you, trust and obey. Trust that he will hear exactly what you're saying to him and keep looking for opportunities to bless others. We'll see you soon.